Okay, on this trade lesson, I'd like to go through the MACD as another confirmation indicator that's very important for tra trading and uh, being profitable. So first, you got to find the trend if it's up or down, and then you got to find uh, confluences of support and resistance uh, through scanning the charts on the higher time frames, which is usually the four-hour daily and even weekly that you could use. So I'm going to use the hourly chart here because it's uh, it's a popular chart that traders use. I'm just going to delete these drawings. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we find that it is in a channel and it's going down. So we're going to be looking for the path of least resistance. So we're going to go for shorts. So how we do this is, let me just get the histogram working a little bit better here. And uh, as soon as the blue line crosses the white line, that's a sell signal. And when the blue line crosses the white line, that's a buy signal. But the buys aren't as strong as the sells because we're in a seller's market, right? So there's more people on the teeter-totter on the short side wanting the market to go down than there are on the teeter -totter, the other teeter-totter side wanting to go up. So we're only looking for shorts. So here, here's a little demo. So the, uh, the blue line crosses the white line right here. We short, we continue to short, and we see that the, the uh, blue line uh, crosses the white line over. But also we notice right here that momentum is dying. If you can see the histogram right there, the, the bars are dying down and they're starting to turn positive right there, the, the red and the green lines right here. So that's another indicator that you can use that works great with it um, that I use regularly uh, just to try and get me in and out of trades the most profitably. So we wait for another downtrend. We see it on the 20th and uh, it crosses uh, the line to go down the, the over the uh, white line. And we go short all the way down here and we see it cross above. So we exit. See another one right here, crosses below. And these are nice trades because it's just so powerful because the downtrend is, uh, it's really weakening. And right now we're at the 130 level, you know, Merkel's come out and said that she wants the range 130 to 140. Holland said that he wants it lower. Uh, Draghi, the ECB head has said that he wants to fight inflation. So you're getting all these orders. It's going to be a mixed bag. So it's it's not the best currency to be in right now because of those fundamental factors. But that's generally how it works. All right. Thank you for your time.